question. Hello, people. It's Tuesday, and I'm Terry Time, and since Joey Dimes was kind enough to call me out, I'm going to go ahead and do this Tuesday. Hyena has some little information. She was right about Britters being KK. Absolutely right. My nails done. She also, she wants to tell me about, a, what is that? You want to do a blessing? I know you do. Hyena. Hyena. Don't mess with my nails. Look. Hyena. There we go. There's a blessing, people. Especially my soulmates and the ones that know. There are that. Two feet blessings. She's all excited today. All excited. And I have some recordings from Maria because it seems like she wants to keep this little shit going with me. Well, you got it, Maria. Keep your mouth shut about me. I have the recordings. And I have a little recording from the B. But she wasn't really too far off. She was kind of accurate, so I'm only going to call her out on one thing. And Joey, Chelsea and Allie said to say hi from your fan club in Texas. And Hyena, of course, is telling Joey Dimes. Hi, Joey. She loves your videos. She hates Tony Pizza because he's cruel to dogs. Oh, yes. Now, well, who's the secret friend? Hyena, who do you want to tell me about? Tell me. You're ashamed? Come on, tell me. I will. Heidi Black is your secret friend. Oh, no, girl. That's not going to fly. You better make sure that was a joke. It was a joke. Now you're ashamed? Good girl. We don't want no part of her. And Maria, what a liar you are. You said that Johnny Mac in Chicago don't bother you, that you're not triggered, but you spent two days in a row talking about it. So you are definitely triggered because they're calling you out on all your cop calling, your snitching, your CPS, and your... And I didn't even see the second picture of my granddaughters that you posted, you miserable, miserable female. All over a Reddit post. You obviously don't know how Reddit works because people can post anything. I didn't even know there was a picture of your daughter and a letter up there. But you posted two pictures of my granddaughters. And they were blacked out when Chicago played them. But you put them full face. I hope you're proud of yourself. Because, and somebody in the comments said, Oh, Terry, at time, aren't you special? A bottom feeder talking about bottom feeders. I am not a bottom feeder! They all, without doubt, every single one of them is a cop caller. I've got the FOIA request. Every single one of them is a snitch. Every single one of them is a CPS caller. Every single fucking one of them calls jobs. I don't do any of that. I am not a bottom feeder, never have been, never will be. And as far as Clint goes, I agree with Chicago. He's a punk. Do you know what would have happened if any of my men, the husbands, the boyfriends, the ones I got now, if I would have ever jerked around on them like Jen did him, I would still be picking my ass up off the floor. A real man does not tolerate that shit. If you put yourself in that shape, he looks weak. He looks manipulative. He looks like he did the recordings on purpose. And I ain't giving Jen no credit either. But a guy like him is a straight-up punk, and he doesn't deserve any sympathy whatsoever. He stayed there. He stayed in it. I owned houses. I had a broken nose. Had the neighbors call the cops, and I still acted more manly than he did about it. So get up off the Clint Brady. He's a victim wagon. Please. Because it's not playing over here with me. And you better not even try to think that Chicago's not bothering you and Johnny Mac's not bothering you because they sure are, Maria. They're getting the goods on you, and I'm loving it. But I don't need them to help me. I can take you down by myself. And I was hoping you would keep your mouth shut. But I should have known better because that's one thing you've never... That's one thing, none of the, the other thing these bottom feeders do that I, makes me not a bottom feeder. They go back and forth. Do you think that I would ever forgive Maria, the bee, the witch, any of them that have done stuff to me? Never happened. 
You won't see me cut no deals with anybody. When I despise them, I despise them. And I don't cut no deals. I don't make friends with them. But you best believe there might be one person on here that's got more informants than I do. And that would be muscle. Because I had people sending me clips every time my name gets mentioned. Every time Terry Time is coming out of somebody's mouth, I get to clip. And I don't have to watch any of you, thankfully. I don't have to put myself through that torture. But anyway, let me play this recording to prove... To prove it. Because I never say anything that I can't back up. And thank you, Chicago, for showing me that other picture of my granddaughters. I, they are beautiful. It just shows what type of person she is. She'll never change. Never. And, Chicago, you're making one big mistake, and you're going to find out. You can't trust any of them. Any of them. Believe me. I know. And, and B is Lauren from the bottom feeders. One of the worst ones. Her and Maria might be try, try, tied up for being the snakiest of the two. Be hard to pick one above the other. Because they both have no morals and no limits. And nothing that they won't do. Okay, are you ready for this? This is Maria. I'm going to sue me together class action lawsuit because we're bashing Maria and she's not responding. She's not scared of us. You're responding. Let's do a class action. What do you call this? You're responding, you stupid. That sounds good, David. And he's not David. I don't know why he put Chicago. I guess it sounds tougher. Chicago. He lives in Chicago. Five foot one inches of badass Johnny Mac. He's the same size I am. I'm five one. You're right. John, I'm gonna sue me together. Class action lawsuit because we're bashing Maria and she's not responding. Yes, you're responding. I'm playing it. You are responding. Action lawsuit. She also. You respond to everything. You're a freak. An attention freak, an attention whore. That's what you are. And you're a liar. And you can't be trusted. Now, let me play. The, uh, this is where she mentioned Chicago. me. I really I wouldn't have said suffer. nothing if she did just kept it between Johnny Mac and Chicago. But, oh, no, she had to bring me into it. So here we go. Five foot one inches of badass Johnny Mac. He's the same size I am. I'm five foot one. Johnny Mac, come on, we're the same size. Let's box it out after I get done with Terry time. After you get done with me, Maria? Really? What are you planning on doing to me, you fake, phony, witch? He's the same size I am. I'm five one. Go ahead, keep running your mouth. Johnny Mac, come on, we're the same size. Let's box it out after I get done with Terry You're going to get done with me? Well, I'm not done with you. Guess what? We've just begun, Maria. And it is triggering you. You better believe it's triggering you. After she gets done with me. I say when we're done, not you, me. And I have to be 5'7", girl, and I'm 71. I proved that before. I wish you would show up here. I wish you would. After you get done with me, really, you're going to get done with me? You need to learn to shut that yapping mouth of yours, but you never will. Because you don't have it in you to keep your mouth shut. And don't say that Muscle and Mac aren't triggering you. Because you have done two shows totally talking about them. And then your one little slip up talking about me. And guess what, Maria? There are people in your chat and in your friends list that are sending me clips. Oh, yeah. Chicago's not the only one that's got people. There's a lot of people that hate you. Lots of people. And you know the ones that always give you up are the ones that you think are your friends, just like Lauren. She thought I was her friend. Well, guess what? She made a big mistake, a big miscalculation, especially after all the shit she'd done to me. Oh, Maria, there's more to come. More to come. Now I'm going to show you what the B said about me. And this is not that bad, but I do want to straighten her out because she got some uh, one thing wrong. I ain't trying to make a big deal out of it because it's not that big of a deal. But I'm going to let you hear what she said. Terry time. No, that's not her. That is 
まあそうだけパイニアさんもビメイ Look, it's not in here. It's gotta be. Might not be able to play it. Oh, I know where it is. It's right in the persons that sent it to me, little chat. Keep it up. Keep it up, Maria. What are you going to do to me and then you're going to take care of Johnny Mac? Please come to my house. Please come to my house. Make my day. Make my day. You shouldn't make threats, Maria. You shouldn't make threats. But you'll never learn. And you'll never... And please don't confuse me with the bottom feeders until you can prove that I've done one of the filthy things that they've done and you'll never do it because I had money out there and nobody could prove it because I've never done that shit. I don't care if people put... When she put those pictures of my grandkids up, I didn't do nothing back to her. I'm not going to stoop to her level. Here's what Miss B said about me. So they're watching you. They're watching you guys. I don't know why it won't play. Oh, it's, it's spinning, people. It's going to take it a minute. I know what I may have to do. Biggest shock of my life was when Hyena told me she had a secret friend. I'm glad that was a, a joke. Come on, if you're not going to load, we're not going to do it. Anyway, she was on Lefty's panel. And I don't know if somebody asked her something or what. She said, well, Terry Times got beautiful dog, which was correct. I do have beautiful dogs. And then she said, I drink snap. I do snap and I drink it. But she said, sweeten tea. Everybody that knows me and has ever listened to me for 10 minutes knows that it's unsweet to tea, B. Unsweet, not sweet. If you're going to tell a story of my drug use, Tell it correctly. And then she said that I like convicts, and that's not a lie either because I do like convicts. In fact, I love them. The bigger the convict, the better I like them. I don't know why this thing's not loading up. Let me restart it. Well, anyway, while I'm doing that, I just wanted to tell you that if you're triggered, Don't come in here. If you have medical problems, don't come in here and talk about them because I'm healthy and I don't want everybody to be dragged down by a bunch of medical problems. This is a no trigger room. And of course, Trump 2024. Go Trump. I love me some rednecks and hillbillies and countries and cowboys. And I watched the wild, wonderful whites again and fell in love with them all over again. My hillbillies, I love them. I love them. In fact, I'm getting something in the mail from Dixie and I can't wait to see what it's going to be. I don't know what I do to deserve all these wonderful friends. Oh, and we had a little action at the... Mm-hmm. Drinking snap right now and it's unsweet tea, B. Get it right. Unsweet, not sweet. I'm going to show you. Anyway, I was sitting getting my nails done. And I saw this little arm. I was parked right by a Jeep and I saw this little arm reaching up, messing around with them Jeep tires. 
And I thought, what's that? So I hollered at Allie. I said, Allie, there's somebody out there sitting between my car and that Jeep. It looks like they're messing with the tires. So she runs out there, and this dude stripped his clothes off, down to his underwear, ran across the parking lot, and then Allie heard helicopters. So she calls the cops up. And they had already caught him. We didn't get to see him, catch him. I don't know how fast they caught him. They didn't catch him while I was there. But I went out there and took pictures of his clothes. So I will show you the evidence pictures that I took. Maybe if the cops decide to come out there and get the clothes, I don't know what the guy had done. I just thought it was weird. And it was really weird when she heard that helicopter. I guess this stupid thing's not going to play. But anyway, that's what she said. It's not going to play. But I can show you the pictures that I took of the clothes so you'll believe this story. And this just happened. Because I wanted to come in here and do this Tuesday with Terry time because Joey... Dimes was nice enough to announce it. I didn't do one last week because I was monkeying around and didn't do it. And I really didn't feel like doing one today, but I thought if Joey Dimes tells people to watch me, I'm going to do one. And then this exciting thing happened over at the beauty shop. Find out later what he was wanted for because Allie's going to call and tell me what they caught him for. Okay, get ready to see these pictures. There's his t-shirt. I took it right where he laid them. That's the t-shirt he took off. Real crime here, folks. There's a sock. They're still laying right where they were. I didn't touch them. Watch enough cop shows not to, and there they are together. And when Allie walked outside to check them, that's the way she found them. He took his shirt and his socks off, and he took off barefooted towards the Pizza Hut. And then she said she heard a helicopter, and then she would come in and call somebody she knows at the police station, and they told her to go ahead and report it. So she did, and when she called them, they said that, they had already apprehended him, but she has no idea what he did. But when I find out, I'll let you know. So that was a little excitement. And I've been doing some mean stuff to Kevin, ghosting him. Oh, by the way, I've lost 16 pounds. I guess my snap must have a little diet stuff in it now. And he, I've been being mean to him, being a little rough on him, and it and he took it real bad. So I listened to this prison guy called Jay Williams. And I happened to listen to one of his things about prisoners and love and something like that. And he said that the worst thing you can do to a prisoner is to ghost them. Because they don't have no way of getting a hold of you. He said, if you want to get rid of them, just tell me you're getting rid of them. Don't ghost them. So I will not be ghosting my cabin anymore. I've done it the last time. I won't do it again. It was cruel thought it was a game. I guess he doesn't think it's a game. So we're just going to wait and see what happens with this little adventure. I'll keep you posted. And if he ever calls me on that virtual, I figured out how to have him on here with me so you can actually ask him prison stuff. Hi, Hina. Do you have anything else to say after you nearly made me have a heart attack with your secret friend? Have anything else? You want to say anything to Joey Dimes? Hmm? Or Anthony Sessa, or Tammy, or Dixie, or Sylvia. Anything you want to say, Johnny Mac? Want to say anything to him? That's it, people. This wasn't much of a Tuesday. And without the little convict out there throwing his clothes off by my car, it wouldn't even have been this good. But Maria is definitely getting triggered by Chicago and Johnny, so keep up the good work. I'm going to keep up my end the minute she mentions my name. I hope I don't have to put my legs over my head and stuff again, but I can do it. And my nail tech's daughter was in here. So if you see a Sadie in here, be very nice to her. That's my nail tech's daughter. 
And I will talk to you next week or maybe before. I'm thinking about maybe doing a live on StreamYard this weekend, letting people ask me stuff and chit-chat, find out what's going on. So have a great day, everyone. Ciao.